I'm your course director, Avram Kleiman. This is for ADMS 3660, Section A, for the summer of 2021, which is the accelerated online course. Because this is an accelerated course, you will notice that instead of the traditional 12 weeks that a course normally encompasses, this is involved with only uh, seven weeks. That means that some of the sections and modules have got to be combined together in a particular week and that puts a little bit of extra pressure on you, which I'm sure you understood when you signed up for the course. So let me give you some idea on how the course is marked because that's usually the most important question that students have and then, um, and then we'll go from there. So the first thing, materials for the course. The two primary pieces of material for the course are the textbook and the PowerPoints. The PowerPoints are essentially like handouts. So you have to go through them, click on the links, see the information, because between the textbook and the PowerPoints, we get the majority of the questions that will feed in to the five quizzes that you're going to be getting. So each quiz is not uh, very long. There are going to be six questions in each quiz that will come from those primary sources. You may get other questions from one or two of the readings uh, or videos that you have to watch, but you'll notice that the um, uh, the materials, the other materials that you have to watch are usually not that time consuming. So that's the first thing you have to know. Second thing, I started talking about the quizzes. There are going to be five quizzes. They're worth six marks each. Each quiz will have six questions, which means each question will be worth one mark each. The questions will all be multiple choice questions. So they'll be reasonably um, easy for you to for you to do. After the five uh, quizzes, you will have um, two discussion forums or op-ed assignments, as I call them, and as are indicated in the course outline. The concept behind these and how they're evaluated is as follows: First of all, you will have two questions. To answer, they're posted on the Moodle site. You will write within your group a response to each question. A week before, you have to hand in your, the final part of the assignment. Over the course of the week, people will comment on your post. You have a requirement to do that. At the end of that week, before of course you have to hand in the assignment, you need to reflect on what you wrote, perhaps what other people have said, or perhaps on more things that you've read, and write your final um, op-ed, so to speak, on that particular subject. And then what you do is you copy the original post, any other posts that people have given you, no more than two, and your final op-ed, and then that gets copied into a Word document. That's what's submitted, and that's what is going to be marked. How it's going to be marked is explained in the rubric that's included in the Moodle course, um, uh, sorry, the Moodle webpage. So you can just uh, go onto the webpage and see exactly how that's done. So now we've... Uh, dealt with two of the aspects of the marking. One are the two discussion forums or op-eds and the uh, five quizzes. The final marking component of the course is going to be a group project. All of the students in the class have been divided into groups. They're pro approximately in size, I would say from 10 to 15 people. So if there is any sort of a loss of people uh, in the middle of the term or at the beginning of the term, it's not going to really affect the ability of the group to proceed. 
The final paper involves you <coughs> getting together as a group, choosing a ethical subject you want to deal with, and then um, finding an article or a discussion on it, and submitting that to me for approval. There is a date in the course outline that indicates when that has to be done, and then I will give you pretty fast feedback on whether it's okay. And again, there is a rubric that explains everything in detail in terms of the marking of it. What is really important for the success in the group project is that you have something very specific. And the reason for that is because if it's specific, then it will be easier for you to apply the principles that you're going to be learning. Now you have to understand in the real business world, that's how it works. We don't get general questions in the business world. We usually get specific cases that we're trying to deal with. Finally, there is a peer evaluation component to the, uh, to the group project. The peer evaluation is your synthesis of how the other people on your, in your group contributed and participated specifically on four questions in the group work. Now keep in mind, this is a course in ethics, morality, being truthful. Sometimes groups decide that they will collude and amongst themselves everybody hands in a 20 out of 20 for everybody else. This is a human impossibility. No groups are perfect. There are people who contribute more. There are people who contribute less. And your job in the group and as a manager is to be able to identify what are the strong parts of the chain and what are the weak parts of the chain. And that's what this uh, um, component of the final project measures. In addition, it gives an opportunity for the students to look at those people who didn't contribute at all to the group project and honestly assign them a lack of participation score. So you have two components. Now if I get all 20 out of 20s or 19s out of 20 from everybody in the group, that is going to be suspect to me and I'll adjust the score um, uh, to a more realistic measurement uh, that I think is applicable. So please uh, try to avoid that. The um, peer evaluations are totally confidential. You don't give them to your group leader. You hand them in yourself on the Turnitin um, component of the Moodle site. So please don't give it in to the group leader. You do have to have a group leader. Uh, it's explained again in the course outline why that person is necessary and, uh, and the function they serve. It's kind of important if you want the group to be able to communicate effectively with me um, regarding any questions that you may have. So that's uh, all the marking, I think, that, that uh, all the marking components. Um, you should also know as well that um, I have tried to e edit for uh, accuracy of dates the outline that I'm posting uh, um, on the Moodle site. Sometimes within the Moodle site, because it's transposed from one session to another, dates creep in that are uh, completely not relevant to us. Um, so please don't use the dates that are on the Moodle site as the uh, final uh, statement. Please look at the course outline, and if it still seems confusing to you, then by all means send me an email, and I'll be happy to clarify what it is. But the, I'm, I'm trying to make the course outline um, the, uh, the final say in terms of dates. Uh, the other thing is, in terms of availability. Now, I know this is an accelerated course for you. So, again, time is going to be moving very quickly. But I want to be available to students who either don't understand uh, some of the material or um, would like further clarification on the material. So what I've done is I've selected office hours that are posted on the course outline. They're based on Toronto time. 
And uh, so I realize it'll be an adjustment for some of you that are pretty far away, but it's the only way to be consistent. Just send me an email. We'll book a time, and I'll get together with you either on FaceTime or WhatsApp um, or anything else that I have available. We can do Zoom. Um, if there is, if you'd like your entire group to get together because they don't understand the concept, happy to do a Zoom meeting. Whatever works for each of you, that's what I'm interested in doing so that you can be as successful as possible in the course. And um, one final thing that I'd like to say, what has been posted now in terms of uh, the, the Zoom lecture is, of course, a recorded lecture that, uh, that I've done. So you'll have that information there as well. So I just want to wish you all good luck. And please don't be shy. Uh, I'm here for you. I want everyone to succeed and do well in the course. So thank you very much.